And amidst the pandemic, the opioid epidemic hasn't gotten the attention it once did. But as people continue to overdose and die, that is about to change. Last year is the deadliest year for overdoses in the state of New York. And now community members are calling on the state to do more to help take on this growing crisis. Allie Peters was at a gathering today to address this. She joins us now from the newsroom with more Allie. Not one more. Those were the words reiterated over and over again today from local community members as they push for no more preventable drug overdoses. According to CDC data, more than 5,100 people in New York died from preventable overdoses just last year, and local leaders say it's time more is done to help. In New York State, we saw it, we saw it last year over a 29% increase in opioid deaths. This is unacceptable. A call for change from many local leaders, including Ryan Thorson Carson, who has lost many loved ones to the opioid epidemic. He is now walking across the state, joining local leaders in their call for more to be done statewide. We are calling on the governor to sign the overdose prevention package to remove barriers to life-saving treatment under Medicaid and expand access to treatment to jails and prisons. Officials are asking the governor to declare a state of emergency so more funding can go towards drug treatment and prevention. They're also asking the state to start a pilot program for overdose prevention centers. These are places where people can go and use drugs under supervision. Now, that's not the only thing that they are. Um, if, they, if somebody were to OD, they would be revived. But on top of that, they can also seek treatment. The pandemic's toll on overdoses has been seen across the country as people have faced economic uncertainty and social isolation. Our definition of success now has become that our clients and patients live to see another day. Trillium Health is one organization working tirelessly to bring solutions to the Rochester area, one being providing free Narcan training to community members. During the first six months of 2021, we have trained over 1,300 individuals in how to recognize and respond to an overdose. The state legislature closed their session by passing three overdose prevention bills, some of which help with treatment in prison and jails and syringe decriminalization and expansion. You can read about those bills at rochesterfirst.com. Live in the newsroom, Allie Peters, News 8. Thank you, Allie. And according to data from the CDC, 93,000 people died of a drug overdose in the U.S. last year, a 30% increase over 2019.